So and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. And um, today we're going to take a look at the Corsair's Hydro series for coolers. So the difference is the H80 is a single 120 millimeter radiator with dual fans on each side. The H100 is a longer radiator, 240 millimeter with dual fans on either side of it. And the H115 V2 as well is a 280 millimeter radiator. So I'm going to move into the benchmarks to show the cooling here on this test rig on my gaming PC, which it is. I'm going to show all the differences with the cooling. And then you can take a view and see which one you think is best for your system. Obviously, you've got to allow some of the difference with the size in here. This case will fit both, or all three of them, in fact. Um, I'm upgrading from the H80, so that's been perfectly fine. It's about two years old, and one of the fans is starting to make a bit of a noise, so I thought I'd upgrade it and decide which uh, 200 millimeter is going to work for me. As you know, on Tech Tuesdays, we take a look at gaming review products. Today, I'm just looking at coolers. Um, if you want anything to me to look at anything else, put it in the comments. And if not, take a look at my other videos. We'll take it from there. Okay, so the H8 is off. As you can see here, we've got the paste that came with it. The side's clean, as you can see. It's reasonably clean. This has been in probably for about six months since I last cleaned it. And you can see on this side here, it pushes all the dust against the radiator, which is a bit of an issue. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why I'm upgrading as well. So wait for the right time. See here the arrows for the fan configuration. So this one was pushing down across that way. And this one was set on that side to pull across. So basically the airflow was going left from this side here to this side so let's create this dust that's the problem with the h80 i found to be one of the main issues it's basically that it collects a lot of dust on the outer edge of the fan because you have to use this kind of configuration it's good if you've got a small case i would recommend getting the 240 millimeter at least which we've got miller rig and we'll try the 280 and see if the cooling is even better because this is overclocked but it's a good radiator it just has a few issues collecting dust you have to keep an eye on it because we've got five cats okay so now i've shown you the h800i that's a v1 so the cool statistics, we're going to take a look at the H100iV2, so the later model, so I'd say the H80 for about two years. So we're going to unbox this 240mm fan off, the usual warranty. The two radiator fans here, these are 120mm fans. Two of them, thank you very much. And we also get the uh, AIO cooling rig here, the 240mm radiator. In there. This was £105 on Amazon at the minute. And we've got the bags of goodies like the mounting brackets, the USB cable, keep it all intact here. The mounting bracket and all the USB cables as well. Okay, so you've seen the H100i and the results from that one. So now we're going to unbox the H115i V2 as well. And we're going to see what's inside, compare these, and then we're going to install it into the test rig. So we've got a very similar box. So this one is uh, going to slightly narrower the box. 40 millimeter fans. And you should have pretty much the same components. You've got the same bag of goodies there, screw, mountain brackets, USB cable. And cooler. So packaging wise, these things are identical. You get a slightly bigger fan, a bigger radiator, but accessories are all the same. So let's get on and install it. So that's the end of the video, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments which you think is the best cooler. I was a little bit surprised between the 100 and 115. I thought it'd be a bit more of a difference. Could be down to the room temperature, could just be down to that benchmark. 
But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all again later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.